So yeah, let's talk about EV electric electric vehicles. That's a uh, inevitable future. I think you all know the rate of growing um, market share of EV and uh, the technology improvement speed is just tremendous. And um, we're just it's not if if EV, if EV will replace gas power cars, but when? Okay, so let's just look into these electric vehicle sales um, in a pandemic time, uh, which is uh, 2019. Uh, sorry, it's 2020. And if we just look at starting from the 2019 data, the gas power sales of the gas power cars sales uh, actually decreased 4%. On contrary, the electric cars like increase sixteen percent, but it's actually not that much because if you consider the base of the gas power cars, they just uh, much more, far more than the electric cars. So this even if it's sixteen percent versus minus four, it just uh, takes forever to catch up with that. But if you look at the twenty twenty data, the Gas power cars sales decreased by 15%, which is significant. And electric cars, electric vehicles sales increased 33%, which is quite impressive, I would say. Um, one thing we don't know is if it is actually caused by a pandemic or it's just a natural trend. I believe it's just natural trends. It's just a, in the future, this gap will be even uh, more significant and one thing that you may know you should know is uh, the people who buy electric cars now are usually the richer richer people uh, compared to those who buy the gas power cars and the pandemic actually affect the uh, lower income people more than the higher income group so they can also uh, explain why the gas power cars sales decrease more uh, than the electric vehicles. Okay, so this is the rise loss. They model the decline in the battery costs. The, the, the crucial now, the electric cars uh, need to uh, improve on is the battery capacity. If the gap battery can eventually uh, improve its performance, then the EVs will definitely become better than the gas power cars. And this is the so you can see um, the capacity of uh, to buy the one capa one k one kilowatt hour. Uh, this is the electric capacity that how much how much dollars you need to pay the cost is reducing really drastically and uh, this logarian magnitude so uh it's very you need it's not linear and uh, the accumulative megawatt hours this is the energy the total energy the energy um, re the produce is actually increasing also logarithmically. Okay. Then this is the sticker price. We can see the 35, 350 miles range EV means in one uh, on one go that you can use the electric to run such a distance. And this is Toyota Camry. Uh, in 2019, their price still very different, like fifty thousand US dollars versus just the almost uh, lower than its half, so it's twenty four thousand. In 2021, their prices, their price difference will be narrowed down. In 2023, the prediction according to Arc Research, their price will be almost the same, and as all disrupted technologies. Involve evolutions. It will eventually overtake. It will eventually overtake the gas power vehicles.
and it becomes cheaper than that. So even in, the, in 2025, people who want to buy the cheaper cars, more cost effective one, they will just uh, go with electric vehicles. Okay, so uh, this is something. This is something. Um, this is the range versus acceleration. Uh, you normally, if you have the better acceler acceleration power, that means your car will have the shorter range. And you can see this is the efficiency. So this is the efficiency, efficiency uh, in the y axis and the performance which is how how fast you can accelerate your car from 0 to 60 mile per hour. And the Tesla's electric, which is electric vehicles, uh, actually has very, has very tremendous result because they have very, very great performance and also very great, great range. So it's, it's just a much more superior cars compared to a lot of different cars. Okay, so um, this also tells us that uh, the future of electric cars is really, really a thing. And Tesla's are making good cars. And traditional automakers really lack software and electric engineering talents to succeed in this field. Uh, because you see, this is electric vehicles. Other, they're made by other incumbents. And they just don't have the kind of technology to com compete with Tesla as uh, the framework of uh, uh, innovators dilemmas framework usually those incumbents won't be able to compete with uh, new entries which is Tesla Tesla is one of the, one of one of these so it's very interesting we, what we see is actually quite as accurate as what this framework said Innovator, innovators dilemma all right so yeah that's all i want to share with you today i think it's super interesting to look at these predictions um that also apply our innovators dilemmas framework all right so if you would like to receive more videos like this like today's video don't forget to subscribe your subscription is really my best encouragement to make more videos like this other than that take care until next time.